Well, exchange-traded funds, believe it or not, have been around since 1993, but it's only in the past five years that their popularity has grown exponentially, now with more than $3.5 trillion in assets under management. So it's no surprise that influential investment managers are attending the annual gathering of the ETF industry. And as Bob Bassani reports, a few key themes are emerging. He's in Hollywood, Florida for us tonight. I'm here at the 12th annual Inside ETFs Conference, the biggest ETF conference in the world, where roughly 2,500 investment professionals are gathered to talk about the most important trends in 2019. Chief among them, concerns about a global growth slowdown. It's the number one topic here. But the head of the New York Stock Exchange says that optimism about growth in the U.S. will help outweigh the slowdown in Europe and in Asia. When you mentioned Davos, when I was out there, it was, a, it was apparent that there was a little more optimism from some of the U.S. CEOs than there were from some of the European CEOs. And, and again, there are just a lot of issues that are unfolding. And so they're, how they unfold and how quickly they unfold, I think, is going to contribute to what that growth looks like. But while many have downgraded their forecast for growth here in the U.S. and abroad, one key player says that a recession is not imminent. We upgraded our risk of a recession in 2019 because of policy uncertainty from 30 percent to 35 percent. We see the risk rising as we go into 2020, where we expect it to be somewhere between 40 to 50 percent chance of recession in 2020. And finally, I sat down with investing legend Paul Tudor Jones, who is looking to make a big push in another theme that's gaining traction among ETFs, socially responsible investing. Since 2008, 92 percent of corporate profits have gone to shareholders. It's the exact photo negative of what the American public thinks a just company should do. So we've got this big disconnect between what the American public thinks and what uh, corporate boardrooms, the C-suite, are actually doing. Jones believes that the American public strongly supports the principles of socially responsible investing, which includes fair pay for workers, reducing pollution, and creating and maintaining jobs. That's all a far cry from the old mantra that the sole purpose of a corporation is to maximize return for shareholders. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Bob Pisani in Hollywood, Florida.